we're going to demonstrate how to do painless anesthesia for this patient who has a Lacerda syndrome and a cubital tunnel syndrome. And so the goal here is to uh, numb this area with a wide awake local anesthetic solution here and here, same, but without hurting her. So the way we do this first, I would inject the skin and the skin only with a very, very fine needle. This is a 30 gauge needle. And I'm basically gonna use what I call the mosquito technique. The mosquito technique, a mosquito has to sting you without um, being uh, perceived, otherwise you're gonna smash it and it's gonna die. So if a mosquito can and it's the, and, you know, numb you without uh, hurting you, then I should be able to do the same. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to apply some dynamic vibration here just now, this acts as a distractor for the brain. So it takes away the attention of your brain from what we're gonna be doing here. And then I'm going to pinch you three times, and then I'm gonna poke you. And then I'm gonna ask you to give me a score, a pain score from zero to 10, okay? Zero meaning absolutely no pain. 10 would be the most horrible pain you've ever felt. Okay, are we ready? Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, and poke. How is that? What's the score? Oh, like a one. It's a one. Yeah. Okay. And now I stabilize the syringe, I stabilize uh, the needle, the vibration continues, and I inject so slowly, you can hardly see the plunger move in the syringe. So you inject very, very, very slowly. And this is basically to numb the skin. No pain? Maybe like a one. Maybe like a one. Yeah. Okay. This we, distracting thing is great. <laughs> we can live with a one. Oh, yeah. The one's done. So now we're going to switch to... Mm -hmm. This is a 25 uh, or 27 gauge needle. But because I numbed the skin, you shouldn't be feeling anything at all. Okay. So you're going to tell me if you feel when I inject. Okay, one, two, and... No. Nothing? Nothing. Good. And now the key is to, again, stabilize the syringe, stabilize the needle. The distraction continues. It's important that it's dynamic, so it moves around. And I inject slowly, 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 so that um, there's not a lot of pressure building up under the skin and then it doesn't hurt. Does it hurt you right now? No. At all, zero? No, no. Perfect. So all you felt was the initial poke and then we're done. So that's exactly what a mosquito will do. A mosquito will sting you, will not move at all to make sure they don't you know, capture your attention. And then they're going to inject some numbing, some numbing medication under the skin. Mm. And that way you don't feel them at all. So they can, you know, feast. And then when they leave, you never know they were there until the next day when it starts <laughs> to itch. But they were able to do this without, you know, you paying attention. So it's the same thing with the Wallant anesthesia technique, with this technique that I call the mosquito technique. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna inject uh, another 10 cc. And the only reason you know is because you see it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you didn't feel that, did you? Nothing. There yeah. you go. And again, you inject very slowly. See how my both both my hands are stabilizing the needle. Uh, sorry, the syringe. Therefore, the needle. My left hand is leaning against and putting some pressure on her forearm. That way, I'm sort of also stimulating her nervous system and mm. you know capturing the attention away from what I'm doing and the vibration device is still working and you know, walking around her skin. And when you do all of this, there's virtually painless anesthesia. Mm. So you can see injecting so slowly that the plunger, you can barely see it moving. You have to resist the uh, desire of injecting faster because that's when the patient's gonna feel it. So very, 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 very slowly. If you do that, it'll be what's called a hole-in-one golfing analogy. Mm -hmm. 
And so now we're done. We injected 20 cc's, no pain. All good. Excellent.